last podcast on the left. Familiar with this show? I've heard of it. We've talked about it on WTP. Mm-hmm. I think I maybe covered it also on Who Are These Creepos on the Creep Off? It's a big true crime show. They, they, they got a big deal. Maybe Spotify. They're on one of these networks. They got a big deal. So it's hard to find these days. But they make a lot of money. They're doing very well. And apparently, one of the hosts has been kicked off the show. Ben Kissel is no longer the show after an ex's abuse claim. And he has been removed from their website. So this is The Sun reporting. Uh, So this is what these guys look like. If you're not familiar, big show, last podcast on the left. They kind of giggle through horrible things that happened in history. This is the uh, the girl. There's a bunch of statements. We wish him all the best. We're sad to see him go. It's really upsetting. It's such a bummer. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get into the fun part. The announcement comes after Kissel faced troubling allegations made by his ex-girlfriend, Taylor Moon. In multiple social media posts that have since been removed, Moon accused Kissel of allegedly mistreating and verbally abusing her. She did not initially name Kissel in the post. Several days later, the podcaster announced he would be taking a social media break, adding that his philosophy is to keep his personal relationships private. Hint, hint! (laughs) Can we stop posting on... We're all going to stop posting on social media now! Right, my ex-girlfriends and me? Right? He then requested fans not spread spread negative energy regarding his ex-partner. Hey, let's not all call her the C-word. That's my job, all right? Not long after... Parks and Zabrowski announced during one of their side story episodes that Kissel would be taking a break from the show to take care of his physical and mental health. This is a guy who's never taken care of his physical health, so I'm not buying that. And just because you are abusive to a girlfriend doesn't mean you're mentally unwell. Yeah. Sometimes they're asking for it. Yeah, maybe she was a handful. (laughs) (laughs) Chris Hardwick went through the same shit. He did. I know. This, This happens with a lot of people because... You know, someone gets dumped, and then they're like, you know what? That guy was kind of a jerk. Maybe yeah. I should ruin his life. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should end his career. No, I'm not saying I know what happened in this relationship, uh, but I do have some video I want to play for you guys in a second. On September 16th, Moon gave her full account of the alleged abuse during a live stream with YouTuber Davey Jackson. During the stream, Moon did not name Kissel, but confirmed the dates of the relationship and that he was taking a sabbatical from the popular podcast. She alleged she was abused by Kissel several times, particularly pointed to one alleged instance during a Las Vegas August 2022 show. Moon claimed that following the show, Kissel and the other podcast hosts had decided to go out with their wives while she stayed in their hotel room. Oh, so she was being a fucking bitch. (laughs) No, it's fine. I'll just stay here. We're just, we're all going out. Can you just, I, I know you're, I know you're mad at me. Can we just go out, put on a face? We'll yell and scream at each other tomorrow. We're all just going out to the show. No, I'm just going to stay here. Fine. Stay fucking here. It's you fine. Go have fun. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to sit in a hotel room in Vegas, so you all stay right. here. Yeah, no, yeah. She, she has a headache, so sorry, guys. She's not, she's not going to be with us today. Okay. That was emotionally abusive. <laughs> she alleged Kissel returned to the room very inebriated. Well, I would hope so. He went out with his buddies in Vegas. Yeah. I'd be very upset with him if he came back just like, I haven't had a lick to drink because I'm just worried about you. I would be <laughs> <Yeah>. suspicious. <laughs> I'd be suspicious. And allegedly threw objects around the room. <sighs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, she she went on to claim that he allegedly called her a pathetic fucking loser and stupid fucking bitch. Moon also alleged the podcaster pushed her onto the bed and pressed his forehead onto her head while calling her names. Sometimes you can't hear real well. We got to get close. <laughs> you got to get their attention. You got to get their attention. Uh, additionally, Moon has claimed that she had spoken to one of Kissel's business partners and his wife, revealing the incident at the time. Also, she's a tattletale. As well. She's bringing this all to social media. She's bringing this all over the place. So I have this uh, video of her talking about it with a on a live stream on YouTube. And I just want to point out that she's obviously very uh, emotionally settled and mature. So it's hard not to believe someone. <laughs> I had to sink halfway in the mattress. Hold on, let me get back to the Unsettling <laughs> allegations that have circulated in the this podcast the world recently and swept across social media. And at the center of all the controversy is my friend Taylor and her previous relationship with a celebrity podcaster. Taylor's here tonight to tell her side of the story. Taylor, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Hi, 
Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm sorry. I tried. I told myself earlier not even to do that. You're good. I know this is going to be tough to talk about, um, but uh, I know that there are a lot of people that are supporting you right now and and want to hear your side of of this story. So yeah. I, I really appreciate Let's you being together. here. Let's let's talk about it. I, and and Taylor, we we debated a lot about whether even to talk about this, right? Because it is it is a difficult topic. Um, yes. But in the end, decided that that your story needs to be heard in the end i convinced you because i want to get all the views for my channel so i thought this would be very helpful do you think those lips are natural oh yeah those dsls yeah um yeah. you can't I, get written cart. out of this story um yes <laughs> um so after everything that i have seen about when, okay, so I thought long and hard about what to choose. What to All right, let's get to the fun part. So she's already emotionally unstable, and a little while in, she's having a, a real hard time with this. She's very upset. The reason I said those those words in that post were because those were. The... He called you a stupid bitch. Get over it. <laughs> I'm not a bitch. <laughs> I get it. You <laughs> look out. When you would get that drunk. <laughs> uh, you what the fuck? Always turning into a Tourette's girl. <laughs> fuck your mom. <laughs> nuggets. Why did it? <clears throat> Taylor, why you get your shit together? Do you want to take your top you off? You effing <laughs> pathetic loser and your In his defense, you seem like a loser. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and the award for least convincing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Prove us wrong. Bitch. And that's what he said when he pushed me down and went up really hard. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, first off, he picked the one place to push you down that's probably the best in the hotel room. Yes. I was going to say, being in the company of somebody that's drunk and mad is not, like, that's not a crime right. to be drunk and mad. Correct. I'm Especially, not hearing anything except that. You're only hearing her side of it. And look, I don't know what happened here. I'm obviously doing this for comedic effect, but we don't know what happened. But she seems like a problem. And just the fact that she didn't leave with him and go out with him. And then, so you know that there was like an issue going on all day. Yeah. <laughs> and then he comes back and just like, we're in Vegas for these shows. Can we just fucking get along? We got to fight in Vegas at these fucking shows. So he's probably had it, right? If I had a guess <laughs> yeah. at this point. He pushed his forehead into my face like that. Yeah, but... So hard I felt my head sink halfway in the mattress. That's probably a soft mattress. Yeah, he's doing you a favor. <laughs> I mean, this is not this is not the scariest thing I've ever heard in my life. Also, in the report, he's throwing objects around. Yeah, if it was anything bigger than a sock, they would have said what the object right. was. Right, it's a remote control. Okay, it has to be right because you're if he if he pulled out the TV and chucked it, that would be in the report. Yeah, absolutely. she would have said that specifically. Yeah. Throwing objects around the room can mean fucking anything. Yeah. I was doing that before we started the show because I had an issue with. Uh, some files I was trying to say. Oh, I'm an object now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just an object to me. My body was sculling in with it because he was holding me down and pushing me so hard. It's a good thing I wasn't the interviewer on this. So I'd be like, all right, yeah, but we'll get to the part where he was abusing you, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, need to, we need to move on to that part. Bodies Podcast, W-A-T-E.